There are currently two tools available, the stair unit, which is made in Germany, and the Mr. Manhole tool, made right here in the United States. This tool should dry cut through concrete and asphalt. It should be adjustable to cut various diameters. It should have easily replaceable and economical cutting teeth. It should operate on common heavy equipment without major modifications to that equipment. It should be able to remove the manhole frame without physical labor. It should be able to center itself accurately over the manhole frame. It should be designed with worker safety in mind. It should have a comprehensive training program and a readily available support network. Let's take a look at what the tools or systems for rebuilding the manhole chimney should look like. There are currently two tools available, the Whirly Gig system and the Mr. Manhole system, both made in the United States. It should have an engineered set of specifications for consistent results. It should use common materials. It should use a system for setting the frame and lid at proper height and slope without complicated methods. It should be able to work with the many different frame and lid combinations across the country. It should be able to work with different manhole structure types. It should be easily transportable, and it should be designed with worker safety in mind. It should have a comprehensive training program and a readily available support network. Of the options available, we are most knowledgeable about the Mr. Manhole system. Let's take a look at how that system works. The Mr. Manhole system uses a cutter extractor to cut and remove the manhole frame from the road. To center this device over the structure, we use a speed plate. It locks into the frame of the manhole and allows the machine to stay centered and also allows the machine to pull the frame and road overcut from the road. The cutter extractor operates on common equipment that most organizations have, either a skid loader or a backhoe. Skid loaders work well. It uses a standard auger drive. It requires no modification to the hydraulic system of the machine. It has a variable diameter cut from 28 inches to 72 inches. It will cut through concrete and asphalt without any lubricants. It lifts the frame and surrounding road material with no manual labor. After the overcut and frame is removed from the road, we insert the debris system and the rubber stopper that prohibits any material from falling into the structure. We clean the cone and prepare it to receive the sealant. The frame is measured and that measurement is transferred over to the ring saw which is going to cut the liner to the proper height and slope. We cut a short section of the liner to place on top of the cone before we begin the trimming operation. The liner is part of the Mr. Manhole material package which contains all of the materials needed to repair 20 manholes. Sealant is applied to the liner before placing the liner on the cone. This will prohibit any water entering the structure, stops all I&I, &I. it's vacuum testable. We then place the bentonite strip around the base of that liner. It's totally encapsulated in concrete. In the presence of water, the bentonite strip will swell, prohibiting water from entering the structure. We then trim the liner to the proper height and slope with the ring saw. After the liner is cut to the proper height, we will then add another strip of sealant to glue the frame to the liner. We'll place the frame on the liner and bed it in that sealant. Now we've got a completely airtight chimney section. We'll replace the lid and then we'll check the repair for level. The ready mix concrete is then placed at the same time, we're putting in the epoxy coated rebar rings to properly reinforce the structure. We're going to consolidate the concrete with a vibrator. We're making sure that the concrete is under the flange of the frame. The concrete becomes the structural component of this repair, and we want to make sure that it's properly placed under the flange of the manhole frame. We're going to smooth the concrete and apply a rounded edge to the interface between the asphalt and our repair. Then we're going to apply the die, work that into the surface, and we'll put a brushed finish on that.
After we do the brush surface, we're going to seal the interface between the road and the repair using the Mr. Manhole sealant. That will stop any water from penetrating that joint. We'll then apply the medium solid sealant to the concrete, which will give it a slow cure time and a long life. As you can see, we have a beautiful repair that's leak free and will last. This system came into being because we realized there was a lack of methodology to fix manhole chimney sections and our team went to work traveling the USA and we found three issues with manholes. They're unlevel, they leak, and they're structurally deficient. There were some solutions out there. Linings are good, but they fail because they're dependent on the structure they're applied to. The structure fails, they fail. Chimney seals are a good product in some instances, but they fail because of structural instability as well. Different frame leveling devices are in use across the country. They're hard to get accurate and they fail because, again, they sit on an inadequate structure. The Mr. Manhole system is an engineered structural solution and it's designed with three primary goals. Do it safer, do it faster, and save money. Now new technologies are great and often they save us a lot of time, but they have to be safe. Now the Mr. Manhole system is safe. You can cut and remove a manhole frame without physical labor. That's no air hammers, no saws, no heavy lifting. Our tools are light. There's no team lifting over 75 pounds because we're using a casting lifter, a lid lifting magnet. Team lifting is employed with ergonomically correct methods. We're using a light liner, a Vylon pipe liner, to replace the heavy adjusting rings. Those are often dangerous to lift and get down in the excavation set correctly. Our repairs are finished in under one hour, reducing traffic disruption. We also minimize worker exposure to traffic by these speedy repairs. We all know it's dangerous out there in the traffic. Mr. Manhole is fast. Most repairs can be completed in under one hour. You can cut ahead and pull the repair later and repair it at your leisure. As you can see in this photograph, you can cut asphalt and concrete with the same cutting teeth using no cooling fluids. You'll be using the speed plate, which you see on the left, and the lifting device on the right if you choose to pull later. You can take any machine that's capable of lifting that weight, pull that repair from the road, and then rebuild it. You can have these repairs open to traffic in 24 hours. If you use a quick setting concrete, the repair can be opened even earlier. Experienced crews can complete upwards of eight repairs a day. Mr. Manhole saves money. According to a study by Parsons Environmental, which is on the internet, you'll see that infiltration in a manhole is a costly proposition. Bottom right, over $9,000 annually just in leakage in one manhole. Half of that we know will occur at the chimney section of the manhole. We take a conservative approach to infiltration costing. At Mr. Manhole, we figure $300 annually for each manhole chimney section, and we get a return on investment of 2.3 years. Remember, after 2.3 years, the savings keep coming. Over the life of the structure, you'll experience savings from reducing your treatable sewage by stopping I&I &I in the chimney section of the manhole.